Hi, Christine from Santa Cruz Dahlia's here. Um, I thought I'd show you um, what I'm doing this time of the year in my garden in California um, because I like to grow no-till. I like to put in a cover crop. So this was covered here uh, just uh, three weeks ago. Um, I dug out my, my dahlias and um, and now uh, what I did two weeks ago was sprinkle my cover crop seed, which is right here. It's three different kinds of vetch, bell beans, and peas. And what that's going to do is it's going to feed the fertility in my soil. And so I'm, what I do is I take the winter to, to really work on my soil and get it really good for the dahlias. Um, dahlias are pretty heavy feeders and, so, um, and they're in the ground a long time. So I like to try to get my soil in optimal uh, nutrition for them uh, this time of year. And in California, we're kind of lucky. We don't get snow. We get very little frost until maybe even uh, January or February. And so um, I'm able to start a cover crop. The downsides with California is we get no rain. And so um, once I sprinkle the cover crop seeds down here, I need to um, rake them over a little and then start a sprinkler on them. So these have been watered probably the first week almost every day and then uh, now that we're going into the second week I'm doing every two or three days and I will slowly wean them off and if we get any rain then um, the cover crop should just be able to uh, grow it with the rain that we get. So um, you can see in the background here I have Agrabond down over my cover crop so once I put the seeds down I put over the seeds my um, agrabond, and that's for two reasons. One, uh, we have a lot of crows in our, our area here, and they really love to eat the uh, cover crop seeds. So um, once I can get them started, they're not as interested. Um, but uh, it also adds a little layer of warmth. So agrabond can 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 give like a four degree bump in the temperature, and so that gets everything off to a really good start as well. So what I will do here is this will be growing um, until I'm ready to cut it down, which is about six weeks before I want to plant. And um, the reason I do that is six weeks before I will weed whack it down and then put a, a tarp or it's called oculation when you cover it. And then the biology comes up from the soil and eats all the green little pieces that the weed whacker has made and then it just turns it into this beautiful brown soil. So I'll keep you guys posted on this and show you another video, maybe in a, another month or so, I'll show you how tall it is. And then um, this area will probably get weed whacked down in January because I like to plant my seedlings in here in February. So um, that's pretty much it for now. So uh, hope you enjoyed it.